So one of the challenges of um, the time we have at the moment is keeping the kids occupied. And one of the things I've been doing recently is making a blackboard to go outside. And one of the challenges of putting it outside is the weather. So I have been waterproofing it with some varnish and varnish does not come off your fingers like ever. So first tip of the day, use plastic gloves when using varnish. Otherwise you will regret it forever. G'day, my name is Ralph Mayhew, and we're here today to talk about the vlogging gear I use to make my videos and the audio and all those things really this will just run you through all the things I make and how cheap you can get it, um, what the different avenues are available to you, and you can choose for yourself whether you go for it or not. So let's begin. First things first, you need a camera. I have a special camera for video and vlogging. It is one that is highly recommended by numerous vloggers. I'll put some of their names and links in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. This is the one I've chosen. It's called the Canon M50. <sighs> This is it, this little piece of machinery. As you can see, it's really small. If you pop it off the tripod, very versatile. Has a flip out screen, so you can actually look at yourself while you're filming. It's not good to look at the screen, look at the lens, but it's good for composing the shot. The other thing it has is external audio, so you can put a microphone on top, which we'll talk about in just a jiffy, and plug it in right here. The other advantage of this little machine is it comes with the kit lens which is 15 to 45. That's on a crop sensor so it's about a 24 to around 70 on a full frame. Perfect for vlogging. It also has on the bottom a tripod hole where you can actually just attach a tripod mount just like this. Pretty cool huh? In real life it takes a few more minute minutes can't just click your fingers and stuff happens. Moving on, the audio option I would say go for is the Rode Micro Mini. Here it is, this cool little thing. You can actually make it not look so ridiculous by just removing the dead cat. This just pops on top of your camera, a little bit like this, watch this. This goes on like this, nice and easy. Usually easily, what is going on? Just like this, just records you right so you can't see it obviously but you can uh, talk directly to the microphone when the camera is on you like this this little thing 75 bucks how good is that world-class audio for 75 bucks sits on the front of your camera and then when you're speaking you simply vlog like so and as you can see this is what I look like <laughs> who'd have known and finally, lights. Now, what I've done is I bought some cheap lights that you can actually, they've got five switches on the back. Watch this, I'll show you. Got five switches on the back and you can calm or increase the amount of light based on these switches. This is the other one. I'll shoot so you can see the light effect in the background. And then on again. You can change the intensity of the light, you can change the direction of the light and to my right and to my left are two lights, look at them, there's one, there's the other and I've actually got a boom arm that can put another one right up there. But I'm not sure why I'd ever need that. This lighting setup cost me 150 bucks. Super cheap, comes with all the stands, the light globes, the diffusers, the soft boxes with a boom that's weighted on the other end. You can attach a microphone like I do. You can put this microphone on the end of the boom so it sits just off camera but picks up everything you're saying. If you're gonna do that, you'll need an audio extension cable to enable it to click into your camera and go all the way up to the microphone. All right, let's list them. We've got camera, SD card, tripod, Rode Micro Mini, mic extension cable, lighting equipment, all for a grand total of 794 bucks. You can set yourself up to do video for less than 800 bucks. I realize for some of you that's a massive leap, but for others that's well within the ballpark. 
And so if you're an organization, perhaps you're a church or a company that wants to do some video like this, perhaps you're even in a school at the moment and trying to connect with your students, $800 might be worth the investment. Search around, hunt around, research around so that what you're buying is what you really need and can use and realize, but you can walk around with this, you can take it outside, you can put it anywhere like, you can set it up in an office, whatever the need is, it doesn't take much to relocate and, and make more locations more accessible for your filming. So you're not just stuck in the one place all the time. I really hope this video has helped you explore the different options available to you so you can be a little bit more informed, a little bit more empowered and feel more confident as it comes to expanding the way you do video to engage your audience more effectively. So if you love this video and you want more, hit subscribe, that'd be epic. If you wanna like it, if you're like, yeah, I like it, that's, that's pretty good, it's, it's good. Give you some love, just hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just, just go that, that thumbs down button like twice, just to make sure, right? Thanks for joining me, it's been awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.